Gas prices nudging $4 a gallon. The I team wanted to know are you getting your money's worth? The counties know inspectors regularly check gas pumps and they keep records of which ones aren't working right. Hagit Lamore collected those records and she joins us live with the results. Hagit? Well, in a moment, we're going to show you where we have individual gas station reports so that you can check for your favorite station because you have the same questions that we post. When you pump a gallon of gas, are you really getting a gallon of gas? Because every year around the tri state, hundreds of customers complain they're not. Oh, I'll probably drive 400 miles, 500 miles a week. So every, every penny and every gallon makes a huge difference. Mike Hancock pays not only to fill up his 98 Expedition, but for a half dozen other vehicles in his company's fleet. It's a lot of fuel. So much, he says, he knows when that warning on his dash means now. Which is why he was shocked at this receipt showing 85 bucks for how many gallons? It says it used 26 gallons, and I've never been able to get more than 22 gallons in it, and that's when I've coasted into the pump, when I was truly empty. Hancock complained to Claremont County, saying the pump must be defective. One of more than 500 complaints the I-team examined after a public records request that included inspection records of more than 10,000 gas pumps in the tri-state. Here's how it works. Inspectors like Butler County's Tom Camphouse pump five gallons at a time on every pump, measuring in a calibrated tank, making sure your gas money doesn't go down the drain. Whenever the gas price goes up, we definitely get more complaints as far as uh, they think they're getting cheated at the pump. And sometimes they're right. The records we checked show a pump at this Ameristop in Liberty Township shorted customers twice in March. This BP on Queen City Avenue in Cincinnati came up short in February. A pump at this Myers in Deerfield Township failed in November, as did one at Thornton's in Milford in October. And across the river in northern Kentucky, inspectors condemned pumps at this marathon in Fort Wright. It is when it's off, we squeeze. That's what happened at this marathon in Fairfield, a defective nozzle to blame. What do you do now that you found this? When I find it, I usually bag it off, condemn the pump. Which is what you see when a pump looks like this. But the records are clear. Overall, pumps fail only 2% of the time and by a few cents at most. And when they do, the vast majority fail in favor of the customer. They cheat the gas station. But the main reason, Hamilton County's auditor says the system works well. I think the fact that, that people know we're coming around and checking is making sure that if anybody does have a little bit of larceny in their heart and wants to put their finger on the scale, they hesitate and they won't do it. Helping Mike Hancock and all of us make sure every penny counts. Do you want to check for your favorite station? Well, we asked the surrounding counties for their public records, and then we posted them online. All you have to do is go to WCPO.com and look for the I-Team report. Now, what do you do if you think that your pump isn't working well? Well, we've got the answers for you, because 9 News consumer reporter John Matteris has been checking into it, and he joins us now. Reporting live in Newport, I'm Hagit Lamore. John? Well, Hagit, it's happened to all of us at some point. You fill your gas tank, and you suspect the pump overcharged you. Well, here's what to do and not to do. If you have good reason to suspect an inaccurate pump, don't simply pay and drive off. That's because that pump could rip off hundreds of drivers more before anybody comes out and checks it. So first, tell the clerk in the station. Then, in Ohio, contact your county auditor's office. They can send someone from Weights and Measures to inspect it. In Kentucky, meantime, contact the state's Department of Agriculture. They're down in Frankfurt. And in Indiana, contact your county's Weights and Measures Division. One last tip. Please be polite when you complain to the clerk inside. They probably don't know about it, and they didn't cause the problem. But let them know so other drivers are alerted and so you don't waste your money. Bye.